Yeah. All right. Um, so I, I did a video a while back with our Kenmore dryer and some problems it has. Now we're over here with the Kenmore washing machine. Here's my model number. Um, but um, again, I think a lot of these will be the same. And I just watched a video with somebody cleaning out or actually replacing this uh, door seal. And the problem we're having is that it just smells. It smells like rot. And uh, we go through the process, and I, when I say we, my wife goes through the process of cleaning it out as recommended. But even after we clean it out, we still smell the smell. And what we have decided is that drain hole right there, um, there's normally, there was standing water in here. And we're not going to replace this whole thing uh, because it's relatively clean, but after washing loads, standing water. We tried putting like a screw, a machine screw, uh, down this hole. Um, and when we came back up, it was just all dirty and mucky. And the water still will not drain. So we're wondering if that is the problem. It just comes up and it, it's the smelly water that we can't get rid of. So we watched the video, and I'll, I'll try to post a link to the other video of how to remove this whole thing. But it was pretty involved. It, it involved taking off the top. Um, you had to get to the back access. You then had to take off this front. You had to take this completely out. And I, I think what I'm going to try today is just to take out the spring that holds the front part and see if that's enough to get me access to the tubes beneath here because those are the ones that I think we can clean out and hopefully solve our problem. So that's the deal. So the other video goes through um, getting a tool, a spring release tool. Basically we have to uh, release that spring. Uh, I do not have that tool right now. So I am going to use two needle nose pliers and we'll see how that works. Uh, I'm not going to videotape this part, uh, but we'll see how it goes. So that did work. Uh, basically, I took the needle nose pliers, one in each hole, and I spread these apart and it was able to come off. Uh, we'll see if putting it back on is as easy, um, which it may not be. So now I'm going to reach in here and there is what I'm trying to replace. Uh, not replace, but clean out. I'm going to try to clean out by disconnecting um, a couple of those rings. Now, to disconnect these rings, you just squeeze them together, and then it should come out. Um, we'll see if this provides me enough access in order to clean out everything that I need to clean out. But that's... That's the part that I'm hoping I can clean out. More later. All right, so I've just released the top uh, little valve and you can see that I've already got some cleaned out. You can also see down the hole that it's, the water is still not going down the hole. So we still have some areas to clean out. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to reach in all the way where I need to be or if I'm going to end up taking apart this whole whole thing, but so far so good. I was able to pull out just some gunk right away, um, right at the top. Um, so we're going to keep working. I might even try something bendable down in there to see if I can get the water moving and have it clean out a little bit, but so far so good. Okay, so an update. We had a weasel, a drain weasel. I shoved it down the hole because I am nervous about losing one of those rings down in there or not being able to reattach it. So basically I just shoved it in there. I spun it around a little bit and this is what I got out so far which is good and I'm not seeing any 
standing water right now, maybe down in there. I actually don't see any standing water right now, so I'm going to try that a couple of times and see what happens. All right, so uh, my wife and I struggled to get that top gasket, that top ring re-secured on there, but the weasel definitely worked getting out all the junk, and we were able to get the weasel to take the corner of the that pipe because that pipe could straighten. So we straightened it out a little bit. It was able to take the corner. I think we have the gas, the O-rings or the ring clamps back on there secure. And now we're going to test by putting a little water in here. And it is going down, ladies and gentlemen. It is actually draining down there. So I'm not sure if we're going to figure out something else to put in there. Um, some detergent to kind of clean that out further, but we are going to call that solved. Last thing we've got to do is try to get our uh, spring, our ring, uh, back into place, which I am nervous about, to be honest. And by the way, to, to get those clamps to open, um, I was using the long nose uh, the long needle uh, pliers, long nose pliers. Um, but it was a two person job for sure. For sure. Um, I also considered partway through maybe putting a little string through one of these loops in case I dropped it all the way down. Uh, Cause I thought the string would be easy to then pull up and take off. I of course didn't do that, but that's, that's the deal. So last trick is trying to get that ring back on and then we're going to call that job good. Okay, so we finished up. I think we were successful. Um, it did take three of us to stretch that spring without that special tool and to get it back together. So basically we had to start by pushing this rubber up Ized, um door piece as far in as possible so I could feel that the rubber piece passed the little ridge. There's a little metal ridge here. And then we started working in the, the metal ring all the way around until we got down to the bottom. And then with them holding it in place, I stretched that, str that uh, spring apart and they shoved it in the rest of the way. So I do think buying that tool would be a very good use of money. I think we're going to be more successful. We do have a little standing water here, um, but it's because this hole is not at the lowest point. Um, so you can see if I push that, if I push that a little bit, it does drain. When we started this, the water was up the side, probably a half inch to an inch, because um, it wasn't draining, and that's where the smell was coming from. So I'm really hoping that this is going to uh, take care of this. I uh, hope it helps you.